It's the beginning of February 2017, so it's time for another monthly update video. I'm going to talk about what went on during the month of January and what we have coming up for February 2017. I always like to begin by talking about three big things. And the first of those big things is a lecture on Plato, Athenian democracy, and Greek enlightenment. This is the kickoff of our uh, second year of a quarterly series. So I'll talk more about that in the February section. The second big thing is something uh, that'll be coming out later this month, and that is a set of courses in our Teachable Academy on Aristotle's Nicomachean Ethics. People have been asking for them. Where, when are they coming out? Where are they? I'll talk more about that in a bit. And the third big thing is partly about January and partly about February and partly about you know going into the rest of the year, and that is that I'd like to tell you about the uh, MKE, that is Milwaukee Stoic Fellowship, which we got started here in January, and we've got another meeting in February. So a lot coming up and a lot to talk about from the month before. Let's talk about the month of January 2017. I did get a lot done, but nowhere near as much as I had originally intended. And a good bit of that had to do with the effects of some uh, long, you know, lingering and, and recurring illnesses, you know, colds, flus, that sort of stuff that, that took quite a a toll. There were, there were quite a few days where I would do some things and then be totally worn out uh, after, after doing them. N nevertheless, we did have a few uh, interesting events. Um, we uh, started the, the year off with a, a new set of, of lectures and discussions in the, philosoph uh, in the uh, philosophy and speculative fiction series, uh, starting with Philip Jose Farmer's River World. We had a great discussion early in the month, and then we ha held our half-hour Hegel session using our new interface for that. H had some great discussions with that. And we had the very first MKE, that's Milwaukee, MKE stands for that, MKE Stoic Fellowship meeting. Uh, Ten people showed up for that. Uh, some great discussions. We, we decided what we were going to be focusing on. Uh, we talked a, a lot about, you know, prospects for, uh, you know, events and what would be coming up during the year. So that was, that was a, a lot of uh, great discussion and some, uh, some planning as well. Uh, two other things that, that I, I think are kind of cool. Um, one of my videos was actually used uh, in part for an NPR program, to the best of our knowledge. Uh, this one was on the notion that hell is other people. So, of course, they, they took something from one of my lectures on Sartre's Play No Exit. And, uh, that you know, it, it went out to about 200 channels nationwide. So that, that's pretty cool. I had people writing me and saying, hey, I, I heard you on the radio. Um, Towards the end of the month, I also engaged in another conversation, uh, this one about an hour and a half long, about Sartre's play The Flies uh, with, with the guys on the Noetic platform. Um, that's, that's a new uh, sort of uh, podcasting and, and resources platform. And they asked me if I wanted to talk about The Flies with them. And so I said, sure, that sounds great. Um, so that, that's a lot of fun. Uh, I did a lot of tutoring over the month of January. I'm, I'm now at the point where I have uh, not only a lot of sort of ad hoc, hey, Dr. Sadler needs help with this right now, but some, some regularly scheduled uh, people who are working on a curriculum uh, with me. And uh, that's, that's very enjoyable. I also did some philosophical counseling and some coaching, a lot of uh, hands-on work using philosophical resources. I very much enjoy that. And the month has been spent doing a lot of curriculum designing and adaptation of things that I've developed in one platform, bringing them into another platform to try to make them accessible. Uh, I did also get quite a bit more blog writing done, uh, something that I've been setting myself as a, a goal to get more uh, popular-oriented writing out there. Um, 
there is the entire uh, Stoicism Today things. I didn't actually write anything in Stoicism Today except for writing content for the pages for, for the site. But there's a lot of overseeing the articles that are coming out and soliciting new articles and giving feedback and a, a lot of work for that. Uh, I am doing some writing that will appear in Stoicism Today later on down the line. But I, I did some publishing in Erexus Dianoetica, which is my main blog, um, some stuff in Half Hour Hegel, and uh, for the first time, a piece of mine came out in the Partially Examined Life blog, which I was particularly happy about. That one is on Epictetus and what's in our control and what's not in our control. Um, I've also been working, but I haven't gotten it yet to the point that I'm happy with, on that um, short book uh, providing stoic dogmata or sayings or, or judgments, uh, opinions is another way to translate it, dealing with the emotion of anger. That's a, sort of a preparatory work to the, the larger book that I'm working on down the line. And uh, as far as video work goes, um, I, I did some things that people have been asking for for a while. Dr. Sadler, won't you do more of those personally oriented videos? So I did quite a few uh, discussing some of my philosophical commitments and interests and um, stages that I have gone through. I'll put the links to those below. I also started doing some more of those frequently asked questions or frequently brought up issues things uh, that I can when people put a comment and I think, oh, that's perfect for it, I can put it in there. And they're kind of nice because they don't just say, hey, here's what you said, here's my immediate response. I you know, do a little bit of reflection and leading the person through, hey, if you wrote a comment of that sort, maybe here's something that you want to think about. Um, I also did another video which has gotten quite a few views. Um, I started doing, um, I'd done one before, Philosophy and Current Events, and when I, I watched Trump's inaugural speech, I felt that it would be a good idea for me to create a video commentary on it. It turned out to be about an hour long going through some of the key themes and talking about you know some of the implications, uh, a bit of the rhetoric and, and structure that was going on there. In addition to all of that, I kept on releasing the Aristotle core concept videos, which go into the Aristotle classes, um, and uh, finished up with those. That's, that's quite nice to <laughs> finally be done with. And I got my six half hour Hegel videos done for the month. Um, very nice that I've got the support that I do from my Patreon supporters. So that is what happened during January. So what do we have coming up in the month of February? Well, quite a bit of, of stuff. Uh, we're beginning with events with a talk here locally in the Milwaukee area uh, on the 7th, uh, 6 p.m. on Plato, Athenian Democracy, and the Greek Enlightenment. That is at the Frank Weinberg Library, and that is the uh, first of the second quarter year of quarterly talks. We did talks last year on a number of philosophers in this Philosophers in the Midst of History uh, uh, lecture series. Those are always uh, really well attended and a lot of great discussion. Um, so I'm, I'm expecting this will be a lot of fun. On the 9th, um, a little bit further out from here in Brookfield, we um, at, at 7 p.m. we have the second of the the uh, uh, philosophy and speculative fiction series. This one is on something that's a little bit different. I, I uh, you know I've been using this series to talk about um, writers that that I particularly liked uh, when I had a lot more time to read science fiction and fantasy and horror and things like that and go back to them and talk about philosophical themes and I picked uh, Madeline Lingle without quite remembering that she's not really considered at least her time quintet which is what we're talking about here it's not really considered to be um, you know adult fiction it's all found in the young adult and children's section 
Um, I remember the books as being quite good, and, and as I've been rereading them, uh, I've, I've been you know quite impressed as well. So that's coming up on the 15th uh, at 5 p.m. Central Time. It's important to remember the time zone for this because it's an online event. We have our public half-hour Hegel Q&A and discussion uh, hour. So if you're interested in talking about Hegel, you want to show up for that. We, we use freeconferencecall.com uh, as our, our, our way of uh, you know getting everybody into the video conferencing and sharing materials and anything like that. And uh, ending the month on the 23rd at 6 p.m. at the Shorewood Public Library, we have the MKE Stoic Fellowship, the second meeting, where we will be discussing Epictetus's Enchiridion chapters 1 through 5 and all the different themes involved in that and cool ideas like, you know, what is in our control and what's not in our control? What do a, a desire and aversion mean? And what, what is all this Stoic stuff, right? So that is going to be a lot of fun as well. So if you're in the area, um, come on down to the events. If you're not, at least for the lectures, you will be able to see videos of those uh, being posted fairly, fairly regularly, um, you know, usually within a week. Um, what else have we got coming up? Well, I'm, I'm being interviewed uh, for several different things, and I don't know what's going to come out at what time over the course of this month. As a matter of fact, I had one interview earlier today, um, but you know, there's often a long turnaround time, so we'll, we'll see just when they come out, and I'll announce that sort of stuff probably in my, my social media. Um, a lot of tutoring appointments already set up, but uh, there are slots still available. So if you're interested in that, that sort of thing, um, you can go to the link below and check out uh, our tutorials uh, for Reason.io. Philosophical counseling, I've got some, some regularly scheduled appointments and I've got some new people interested in uh, engaging in that with me. So that's great as well. I particularly enjoy that. I'll be doing some coaching uh, in addition to that and a good bit of curriculum design this month as well. That's that's one of the areas that I, I work in, um, taking philosophical resources, in some cases adapting them to corporate contexts or to leadership you know, discussions or to uh, personal development, in some cases just you know, teaching straight out philosophy, although usually we end up discussing those sorts of things along the way. So I've got a lot of that work going on as, as well as a little bit of consulting on particular projects. Projects. And I'm going to be doing quite a bit of writing over the course of this month. I'm going to get that stoic dogmata anger book, uh, at least the manuscript finished. I don't know whether we're going to, you know, get all the self-publishing things required for getting that out there in the, the world uh, done by the end of the month. But we'll certainly have a manuscript done by the end of the month. And hopefully we'll get, get it out there and make it available for people. Um, I am going to be doing quite a bit of writing in uh, Erexus de Noetice, Half Hour Hegel. If I've got the time, uh, Heavy Metal Philosopher, I'd love to get some stuff going in that. Um, Stoicism Today, of course, a lot of behind the scenes work that I'm doing with that. And I probably am going to try to sneak in one of my own pieces in there if I can. If not, it'll be there in March. Um, Partially Examine Life, I'm working on a piece for that blog. And you'll also see something of mine coming out in Policy of Truth, uh, my, my uh, uh, colleague Irfan's blog, which is really quite, quite an excellent blog for discussing political matters and uh, geopolitics and timely stuff. So th there's all of that popular writing. Um, I'm also working on a few academic pieces as well. Um, you know, I, I'm trying to get some of these articles that I, I've, I've got basically uh, almost done or needing to be polished or uh, needing to be updated in certain ways. Uh, I'm trying to get those out and ready to send to journals for publication. And I'm also trying to work on some uh, book chapter stuff as well. But we'll see how much of that I get done. Um, video work. I, I've got uh, a good bit of uh, video work that I'm going to be doing. I'll do some more of the personal videos. 
people responded very well to those. And there's plenty of other uh, portions of my life that I haven't talked about yet that I certainly can do. I'll probably be doing at least one more philosophy and current events, and it probably will have to do with our current uh, political uh, developments as, as they're happening. I've got some half hour Hegel videos to shoot. We're now in the third uh, section of the reason portion of the work. So we're getting close to the end of that. And I'm going to do some, some uh, videos in that existentialism series that I haven't gotten to for a long time. I'm definitely going to do something on Sartre's play, The Flies. And if I have the time, I'll do some additional stuff as well. I'm not sure which author I'm leaning to quite, quite uh, at this time, but I will be doing something else. And uh, if you've liked the, the Half Hour Hegel videos, or if you liked in my other channel, the Epictetus and Caridian close reading videos where I'm going through it line by line, I'm going to be doing something similar to that. Uh, in that other channel as well on another text, another short text, a short text that often gets assigned to students. And if you're like me, when you were a student, you read through and you're like, what in the hell is this? And that is Aristotle's categories. Um, it's often assigned as an introduction to Aristotle and succeeds in turning students off from Aristotle. But it's actually a great text. And I will be working through it, providing a lot of examples and, and a lot of uh, useful information, uh, particularly about terminology, you know, line by line by line. And I, hopefully I'll get all of those done this, this month. So I'll be, I'll be working on, on that. Um, I, the last thing I want to mention is the Aristotle Nicomachean Ethics courses in the Reason I.O. Teachable Academy. Uh, I'd mentioned that, you know, there was quite a bit of illness in, in our household this, this last month. And so that set, you know, me behind a little bit. I'd hope to have these out and uh, ready for enrollment. Um, fairly, you know, fairly early in January. That didn't didn't pan out, but I'm hoping that by mid February we'll have these classes there and ready to enroll. So if you've ever wanted to study the Nicomachean Ethics in depth and detail, um, I'm going to be, you know, providing that as as a at your own pace set of uh, two online courses, one on books one through five, the other one on books six through 10. Uh, seems like a reasonable amount of material for, for each course. And I'm really looking forward to seeing students, uh, you know, learning about Aristotle because I, he's, he's really one of my, my favorite thinkers. So that is what we have coming up in this month of February. Hope it's a great month for all of you. And I will see you at the events or in some of the online places where you can find me. Um, and so just, you know, keep on reading and thinking about philosophy and figuring out how it can apply to your life. Uh, and uh, have a great month.